activity. Cloudy. National Register of Historic Places. Miles City Main Street. It's a little early for, oh geez, they are open at 10 a.m. Um, a little early for a beer though. Glendive Dinosaur Museum, Glendive, Montana. Closed. It's a Glendosaurus. Hey, Glenda. Glen. Dissaurus, not Glenda, Glen Dissaurus. Somebody's fishing over there. Shuffin? This is the town of Wilba, E-A-U-X, is that how I pronounce it? Wilba? Wilbur? Wilbur. Last town, I think, before North Dakota. Well, for this trip anyways, this is it for uh, beautiful Montana. About to head into North Dakota. I like Montana. Maybe next time I'll spend a little bit longer here. Here we go, last state on the trip. North Dakota. Well, last state before I get back home. North Dakota, be legendary. All right. Beach, North Dakota. No 
muchos pesos. Really nice hotel here too. Motel. Yeah. We're right off the freeway here. Looks like we're heading to some uh, pretty beautiful landscape here coming up ahead here. of uh, Medora, North Dakota, at the entrance to the park, National Park here, which I'm going to go into shortly, but I think I need to eat first. Oh, puppy. Hello, Teddy. Places you can rent and stay here. All these other, all these are different rooms, I guess. Big hotel complex. At least not for a few weeks. Down here in Medora, here just outside the park, a uh, very nice little town. Uh, lots of tributes to Teddy Roosevelt. Some touristy kind of things that look still kind of will be fun if they're open. A couple saloons. This is the Painted Canyon, I guess. Look at this. On a beautiful Monday morning. So the north side of the park um, is a bit off the way. It's like a 50 mile, over 50 miles from where I was. Um, I'm right there, Belfield. I'm heading up towards Grassy Butte, I think. Somewhere up in there. This is, so then I'll make my way there and then back in and head towards a Bismarck and then see how far we get from there. It's a lot of rain, but it's also like the kind of northeast of where I am. Hopefully you'll stay there. So I've just been driving about 50 miles of all farmland, flat, flat, and then all of a sudden 50 miles north of the interstate opens up to this. listed.
Park, North Dakota. Yeah, and I hit here at 5 p.m. on a weekday. Perfect timing. Red lights, green lights. It's the Jamestown Campground. Good sand park. Don't know if I've ever been to a good sand park before. So I got set up here at this former KOA. Not, not staying at a KOA. It's a former KOA, I guess. Um, and yes, that is the interstate right there but it was $20 to stay here. So perfect find. On a long drive today, beautiful morning. On the other side of South Dakota, but it's a long drive here and you lose an hour time zone wise, so. Um, yeah, she said she's bringing me some free firewood too, but she seems to be not finding it, but that's okay. It's only an extra. Thanks for watching. sunset cars it's alright I'll see you tomorrow from the next video from my last leg of the journey I guess back home tomorrow back to Minnesota camping somewhere there thanks again for watching bye